Hi Joyful Bakers, welcome back to Erica's Joyful Oven. Today I'm making some decadent cream horns filled with some delicious vanilla pastry cream. Let's get started. I'll start with one pound of puff pastry dough. I'm going to roll this into a large square on a lightly floured surface. I'm aiming for just under a quarter inch in thickness. Now when you bite into a cream horn, you want that pastry to be really crisp and flaky. So for this recipe, it's very important to use a buttery and high quality puff pastry dough. I'm using here my homemade puff pastry dough. You can find my recipe at facebook.com slash joyful oven and youtube.com slash joyful oven. Now that the pastry is rolled quite thinly, I've cut them into one inch wide strips. And I'm going to wrap each strip one at a time around an ungreased cream horn mold. As I wrap, I'm not stretching the pastry dough, but I am trying to get it as tightly wrapped as possible. Each layer of puff pastry is very slightly overlapping the previous so that it fuses together while it bakes. If you don't have the cones available, that's no problem. You can always wrap some foil paper to form a cone shape and this holds up really well to the baking process. I've doubled the foil paper so that it's a little bit thicker and I wrap the puff pastry around the homemade mold just as I would with a store-bought mold. I'll place my wrapped molds onto a baking tray and into the refrigerator. In the meantime, I'll add 2 cups of full cream milk and 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract into a pan, place this over a medium heat and bring it to a simmer, stirring occasionally. Meanwhile, I have 6 large egg yolks in a bowl to which I'll add half cup of granulated sugar and a quarter cup of cornstarch. Mix this together until it's well combined. And it's going to form a smooth and pasty mixture. Using room temperature eggs helps prevent lumps in the mixture. It's also important to occasionally stir the milk mixture until it comes to a light simmer. Once the milk begins to simmer, it's nice and hot. I'll add some into a bowl or a cup and I'll very carefully and very slowly Pour the milk into the egg mixture while continuously and quickly stirring. Tempering the eggs is important, it's going to very slowly change the temperature of the eggs and begin to cook them. It's going to give you a smooth and glossy pastry cream filling. If you do this too quickly, the eggs are going to be lumpy and your pastry cream is going to be lumpy. So it is important to have patience with this process. Once all the milk mixture has been added to the eggs, it should be nice and smooth. Carefully and slowly add the tempered eggs into the remaining milk. And I'm going to whisk constantly from this point to make sure that the pastry cream cooks evenly and remains smooth. In the meantime, I have a glass bowl and into the bowl I've added a very fine mesh strainer. And at this point, I just need to continue stirring for about 5 to 10 minutes until the pastry cream thickens over a medium to low temperature. When the pastry cream begins to thicken, I'll add 1 quarter cup of unsalted butter and continue to stew. The unsalted butter is going to help keep the pastry cream glossy and give a rich taste and texture. Again, we continue to stir constantly and you'll know your pastry cream is ready when you see those big bubbles begin to form at the surface. Very carefully pour the hot pastry cream through the strainer Using a spatula, push the pastry cream through the strainer to make sure that there are no lumps and bits of cooked eggs. And now the pastry cream is almost ready. 
when it has reached almost to room temperature and will cover it tightly with some plastic wrap and set it into the refrigerator until it's completely chilled. And now to prepare the cream horn shells, I will lightly egg wash the top of the shells using a mixture of one large egg whisked together with two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I'm not adding too much egg wash that confused the layers of pastry dough together, but just enough to give a beautiful golden color. Adding to that beautiful color and crunch, I'll add a light sprinkle of granulated sugar over the egg wash. I'm working quickly because I want this to go into the oven while it's still chilled. And these will bake in a preheated oven at 375 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes just until they are golden brown. And here are the cream horn shells just out of the oven. They are a beautiful golden color. You can see that they've baked up quite perfectly and the molds are very easily removed. Allow these to cool completely before adding the filling. Here is the pastry cream from the refrigerator. It's nice and firm. It has set up perfectly. And I'm going to add this into a piping bag so that I can fill it into the cream horns. This pastry cream is so tasty and delicious. It's actually really good on its own or served with fruits. But today, this is going to be the filling for our decadent cream horns. I'll pipe this filling into the cream horn shells and it's ready to be served. I am so excited because this is the finished and filled cream horns. It's so delicious, but first I'll add a light dusting of icing sugar over the top. This is optional, but that light dusting of icing sugar does make the cream horns look more elegant and bakery style. So here are the delicious homemade cream horns. I'm so excited because they smell amazing. They look so great and i cannot wait to dig in yeah you can see that beautiful golden color and dusting of icing sugar my homemade puff pastry shells are light flaky and buttery and the pastry cream is rich with a flavor of vanilla it has the perfect texture it's not overly sweet and it blends in perfectly with the pastry thanks for watching and i do hope you'll try this recipe be sure to let me know if you do for more of my videos, you can find me at facebook.com slash joyfuloven and youtube.com slash joyfuloven. Be sure to subscribe and until next time, happy baking!